Jean? Traveler, uh, uh, excuse me. I should address you as honorary knight under the circumstances. I suppose you heard? You're this year's Windbloom star. You will be making an offering of Windblooms to the Animo Archon Barbados on behalf of the whole of Mondstadt. Oh, although, things will be a little different this time. <sighs> yeah. But with us and the Tone Deaf Bard here, this year's Windbloom Festival is sure to be bigger than ever. <sighs> that is true. Thank you for taking up residence in Mondstadt, and I hope you continue to enjoy Mondstadt life. Oh, the Windbloom ceremony is about to begin. Windbloom Star, have you chosen your Windbloom? So we choose one type of flower, then offer it to the Animal Archon, right? Exactly right. Please consider your choice carefully. Remember, you are representing the whole of Mondstadt. Eh? <laughs> Very cunning. <laughs> Trying to cheat, are we? Ahem. <clears throat> hey, don't you two go spilling secrets during an occasion like this. <laughs> they told us. Don't worry about me. Choose something you like. I trust your tastes. So, honorary knight, what is your choice? Oh, same idea as Beatrice. Cecilia's for wind blooms. Pretty niche, but not without advocates. On behalf of the people of Mondstadt, please offer your wind bloom to the statue. Thank you, Windbloom Star, for your sincere Windbloom offering to the Animal Archon Barbados. May the wind protect Mondstadt. Huh, interesting choice. <laughs> Take a guess. Typical tone deaf bard. Stop making people guess all the time. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. But not here, though. Not a good idea with so many people in the plaza. Change of surroundings needed. Where should we go? I want you to come with me to Storm Terror's lair. It's been a while since I've come here, and uh, things have gotten a little out of order. Traveler, shall we clear the area up a bit? Let's call it our Windbloom gift to Devalin. Hey, good point. Doesn't Devalin want to take part in the Windbloom Festival too? He's not here, but I sense he'll be back soon. Right. I'll let you handle that area. I'll take another. Let's meet up top when we're done. The wind here is in chaos. We need to find a way to restore the wind's direction. This is a view. Isn't it? <laughs> I am fond of this place. Sometimes when I've got nothing else to do, <laughs> I come here just to sit and gaze a while. You mean sit and laze around? <laughs> Guilty as charged. <sighs> it's so beautiful. If only we had some cider in hand. So, traveler. The Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. Do you like it? And yet, you still have something you wish to ask, do you not? I know your question. What are Windblooms exactly? And what do Windblooms and the Windbloom Festival mean to Barbados, the Animo Archon? As you've seen, the people of Mondstadt each make their own choice. Out of the millions of flowers there are, some choose the dandelion, Others choose the wind wheel aster. Huh. It does seem like wind bloom means something unique to each person. Correct. 
And long may that be the case. There is no single answer, and no true wind blooms in existence. So, wind blooms don't really exist? The word wind bloom dates from the age of old Mondstadt. It was a code word that the people used to stay in contact and mount resistance in secret. At that time, the people often said that the stronger the wind blows, the firmer the roots of the wind bloom grow, and the brighter the flowers that burst into bloom. If you want my perspective, wind blooms don't exist. Yet they are all around us nonetheless. They are the spirit of yearning for freedom, the courage to follow the wind wherever it may lead. All objects that are beautiful and worthy of blessing. All can be wind blooms. You can't see them, but you can feel their presence everywhere, just like the wind. <laughs> well said. So what are wind blooms? Something that the animal Archon Barbados will not define. Flowers of blessings, flowers of respect, flowers of love. Every individual has their own wind blooms, and every individual has the right to define them. Guess it's no surprise that the type of flower given by the City of Freedom to its deity is in itself an expression of freedom. I know. It is people's shared will that brings them onto the same page. And surely, it is the wind of freedom that brought us together. It comes from the end of the journey, the edge of the world, the depths of our hearts. It is ceaseless. <sighs> Who was it that stroked your bloody, determined visage? By stream flowing small, by boulder standing large, who was it that embraced your weary yet noble soul? In dreams deep, in skies soaring, dear friend, I am leading you by the hand into the night where lanterns shine bright to tell you a tale of freedom and dreams. The tale of where this festival begins. <laughs> The Windbloom Festival originated in the Crown of the North, the City of Freedom. Oh, we gotta bring enough supplies this time, otherwise you'll go hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're asking me... Unofficial business? We're grateful to you, as are we to you. Funny, we haven't gotten together for a while. It's been so busy lately. What should we do on this day? <sighs> Mr. Albedo! How's the research going? We've had a few issues. Well, have a look at this. No. Of course, any good tavern offers bar snacks. Hmm. Really? Hmm. How should we do it? Who should we do it for? Quietly? <laughs> or boldly? Make the first move, or trust a chance. Huh? My answer is this. So long as we can both share fond memories, it doesn't matter. Let the heart decide. I guess Duvalin found the gift we prepared for him. A fresh breeze in a comfortable environment. He'll love it. <laughs> 